Hey everybody. Okay, well, so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be working on the bracket that's going to hold the master cylinder for the hydraulic brake. And I've been battling with trying to figure this out, and I've pretty much come up with this idea. <laughs> okay, what I have here is I have a piece of three-quarter inch by one and a half rectangular tubing. Now this stuff is kind of rare so if you were to order for this kind of stuff you know you're looking at probably special ordering it. It is .083 wall thickness and, it, and the hydraulic brake caliper will fit comfortably right inside here. So what I have here is I have it cut at six and a half inches. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill down Oh, I didn't really measure that part out. Well, it looks like we're about uh, about eight, yeah, about a quarter of an inch in. Oh, hold on, let me switch this camera over. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I measured in about you know a quarter of an inch here, and uh, measured down. I measured down three eighths of an inch. Measured in. Uh, it's it's at, it's at a, actually at a quarter, <laughs> surprisingly. I didn't really measure that part, but it's at a quarter here, and it's down three eighths of an inch. And I'm going to put a hole here and a hole here, and that is measured out at one and three quarters, which are the eyes of the hydraulic brake of the master cylinder. So I'm going to drill those holes, and then once I get those holes drilled. Uh, I'm going to drill them at one quarter inch because that's how big the hole is and I already got my drill press set up. You can see. Okay, so I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole here and a quarter inch hole here and that spacing is you know, an inch and three quarters. Then once I get that done, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my saw, my uh, um, one of these little things, and I'm going to cut out one whole side just like I did with the bracket brackets for the shocks. So there we go on that and it's uh, really hot. Um, I got the holes drilled so I'll have to clean it up with the grinder and stuff and uh, yeah show you how this works here but yeah I'm going to let it cool off for a little bit here <laughs> before I start grinding on it. Okay, well, so I grinded all that down and it's nice and smooth now. Um, nothing sharp. Uh, I also decided to, I set it up, put the brake caliper, or the caliper, the brake, the master cylinder on here, and then adjusted out where the plunger thing for the master cylinder is going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up where I made this bar, which is going to be my leverage bar that I made, and it is six and a half in, or six and a quarter inches long. And how am I going to set this up? Is this is going to go in here? I'm going to put the master cylinder here, cylinder right here, and the plunger is going to come out and connect to here. This up here is going to be where I connect the cable. But what I'm going to need to do first is remember these little brackets that I took off of that big chair thing? Well, what I'm going to do is see where that black mark is at? That's where it's not going to collide with the uh, structure of the master cylinder. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this piece on there like that. So, let me throw this together quick. So it'll be set up like this. And I'll have some type of linkages up here at the top of that thing. And it'll be able to pull and squeeze in the plunger to the master cylinder. Okay, so it'll be sitting like this. Uh, then, but I don't want to take this bracket and weld it right to the frame. So what I then did. Now these are all quarter inch holes. That's all these are. They're all quarter inch. Um, I measured. I measured in. I think a one inch. Yeah, one inch from the edge here. 
and then 3 8 from here from the edge here I did I did an inch but then I come to realize that after, after I put a bolt the bolt head on the inside of this will collide with this part when it's moving in there so I have to drill this hole here at 3 8 of an inch away from the edge here so with that I then made this bar out of a piece of angle iron and I notched it because there's a weld where I'm going to be putting this and I'm going to be putting it inside right in front of the engine and I'll be tack or I'll be welding this inside or on the frame and this will sit will then be bolted on to it like that and then the master cylinder will go into there so I'll show you here well actually this will be welded <clears throat> right like that right in there like that and this master cylinder I've tried playing around figuring out ways places to put this and I can't put it back there because I've got too much line and I can't put it out here somewhere for my foot to control it because I'm going to have all this stuff here and I can't put it on the other side because there's too much stuff over there and yeah I can't put it up in here because I'm going to be putting some of the paneling there you know so the only feasible logical place to put this is right in front like that so that's where I'm going to have to put it okay so I got that all welded up and grounded down and now comes the time to try to put it on with bolts. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I put this bar on here. Welded that into place on one side. And I also bolted this piece down onto the piece of angle iron that I just welded. So that's in there. Now to put the rest of the assembly together. All right, well, there we go. See if I'm going to pull it back in here into the shop a little bit more. A little bit more light on it. And it's kind of confusing, but yeah, that's where we're at right there. It pulls back on it. Oh, come on. But yeah, you can kind of see it if I hold the camera still. Now, when i got to put some linkages right here and going over to there. So this area right here is where the line is going to come down into something, and then the cable is going to come out and go over to that, and then it'll pull. Like that. Now we just got done testing this thing out. I stuck a cable through here and came back up and had a uh, uh, this clamp right here clamping onto the cable, and I went to push Allie around, and she was able to pull on it and stop. And Cody tried it. Cody had a little bit more trouble, but that's all right. Uh, he's a little smaller. So, yeah, that's the uh, that's the hydraulic brake or the the master cylinder setup that I've got here. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna uh, hook up my lines and everything. Oh, it's gonna look really crappy by the time I'm done, just because I don't have all the little linkages and all that kind of stuff, little hem joints and all that kind of stuff that I wanted to use for this to make it look all pretty and nice. But <laughs> that's pretty much where I'm sitting right now. Get that thing all done and mocked up and everything. So. Yep. I'll talk at you later. And remember, thumbs up this video or thumbs down it, whichever. And post a comment. Oh, and don't forget, gotta subscribe if you haven't already. Okay? Alright, bye bye.